guys you're welcome to another interesting episode of frankly speaking with glory my name is glory elijah and for today's episode i will be talking about a slightly sensitive topic so the question for today the big question for today is do you think engaging in a threesome with your spouse is going to make for a long-lasting or a happier relationship what do you think guys <laughs> well if you ask me i will give you my frank opinion and it's a huge no i do not think that engaging in a threesome with your spouse is going to make for a long lasting and a happier relationship definitely not now i have a lot of experiences that i have to share with you guys but before i even continue i have to let us know something and hey this video is basically for the ladies out there ladies listen up all men naturally have an innate character of always going for the chase so if a man is with one woman and you know if they've been together for so long one day one day I just feel like the guy something is just gonna click in the guy's head and the guy is gonna flirt with another woman Mm -hmm. He's gonna flirt with another woman and sometimes some of these men would even go as far as even having sex with other women And that's what people call cheating. Mm, that's the name. So ladies, I'm not saying that all men are cheats I am not saying that but a lot of men that is just it a lot of times they allow that innate nature to chase Come out of them with its ugly head also ladies, why would you think that giving your body to a third party with your spouse your husband or your boyfriend is going to make your relationship last longer why do you what makes you think that when your husband or your spouse has the pleasure of exploring the body the sexuality of some other female or male what makes you think that the, your, your spouse or your boyfriend is going to be forever satisfied by just sticking to you alone don't you know doesn't it occur to you that for the fact that you have given your consent to doing such a thing, you have not only exposed your spouse to, to that craving, to that thirst for another flesh. You have also exposed your relationship to external bodies coming in to probably give your husband or your spouse that thing that you lack. The sexual urge of men is like, is like a lion. The moment it tastes blood, it will never ever stop taking blood it will always want to continue feeding on blood and it will make blood its basic diet so a lot of you ladies out there that feel like oh my god i love my boyfriend so much i love my husband so much i want to keep our relationship i want to make my husband or my boyfriend happy when you start thinking that way and then you feel like oh if i bring my best friend to come and have sex with my boyfriend while i watch maybe that's gonna make him happy okay sad news is it's probably gonna make his sexual appetite happy for that moment but come on ladies there's so many things that makes a man happy and every individual is different so the moment you 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 are able to discover what makes your man happy then you will now realize that having a threesome with including your best friend or including just your friend or including a friend of the relationship is not the best option to making your relationship work yeah i'm gonna share an experience with you now i know of a certain girl who was in love with a boyfriend so much and she also wanted to make him happy not like this person wasn't happy but she just felt like she wanted to do extra and that's another point for you ladies stop doing extra in your relationship just be you just be you when this guy met you he makes he met the real you so stop trying to do extras because when you start you just might not be able to finish what you started so back to the story she felt like doing a bit of an extra to you know, to, you know to spice up the relationship the sex life and then she invited a friend of hers a best friend for say to come and also have sex with her boyfriend and then after the sex you know the guy wanted to have sex with that best friend again and then they did it again and then another time the guy wanted to have sex with that best friend again and the third time the guy was like no babe i don't want you to be a part of it this time around this time around i want you to offer your best friend to me as a gift as a token of your love I'm like fuck, what the hell is that anyways they went ahead and did the threesome and another time again they went as far as inviting another guy 
So this time around, it wasn't a threesome anymore. It was a, a couple's thing. Not even a couple's thing. Everybody was just doing everybody, you know. This was a story I heard. I wasn't there, but I'm just telling you what I heard. So, fast forward to like two months later, this girl realized or discovered that this guy was cheating on her. Now, he wasn't cheating on her with his um, with her best friend that she brought into the relationship. He was cheating on her with random girls and it's happened to be that this guy did not just start cheating on her after the threesome he had always been a cheat he had always been cheating on her even before he met her was cheating on her while they were together and was still cheating on her even after the threesome bam now what do you call that what do you call that now she found herself in a fix because she felt like, oh my god, oh my god, I've offered myself to this guy in so many ways. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Now, it became a problem, you know. And when she confronted the guy, the guy didn't see anything wrong in it. For him, he was just being a man. Now, ladies, sometimes you shouldn't allow people to... This is not something that people should be telling you. It's something that you should understand. Because first of all, I feel like sex is a very intimate journey it's an intimate experience that if you want to have it with your spouse your husband or your or your boyfriend it should be very very intimate and private the moment you bring in a third party you have started exposing your relationship to the wolves out there yeah i feel like for sex sex is a journey that you are having with someone's body it's a conversation you are having with someone's body someone's soul it's it's it's, it's an intimate conversation that you are having with somebody's mind because you're trying to understand what makes that person think you're trying to understand what gives that person the kick you're trying to understand what thrills that person that you are making love to sex is not just about fucking it's a love journey it's a body language journey so the moment you start involving a third party a fourth party you start involving the whole world come on it no longer becomes intimate in fact it no longer becomes love making it becomes like oh one bear party everybody must be involved come on look i am not i am not against people who have their own sexual fantasies and want to fulfill them i'm not against people who love the thrill of engaging in wild sex after all we have bdsm we have those who are gay we have those who are lesbians everybody's trying to explore different different things that trips them but at the end of the day we need to still understand that a relationship is a relationship marital relationship or boyfriend and girlfriend relationship relationship is also a relationship if you want to make your, your your spouse happy if you want to have make your relationship last long i think you should also you should just look away from doing a threesome or a sex orgy with your partner because at the end of the day a man will always be a man a man will do whatever he wants to do that makes him happy and mind you i learned something new from my friend the other day and he told me that <laughs> He told me that a woman can afford to be celibate for five years, but a man cannot afford to be celibate for one month or more than two weeks. And I'm like, why? And he said that if a man doesn't have sex for at least one week or at least three weeks or one month, he's going to start developing post-trace cancer. A mom, I don't know how true that is, but if it is true, ladies, this is some information for you. Guys cannot go without having sex. Whether you are there or not, a man will definitely have sex. So stop trying to be too extra. Stop trying to do something that at the end of the day, you will not be able to contend with or cope with. Anyways, everyone, that's my own two cents on today's Frankly Speaking with Glory. So if you have any contribution to make to today's topic, please do so in the comment section below. If you want to air your thoughts, Feel free, frankly speaking, with Glory is an open platform for everyone. So just do so in the comments section below. And hey guys, great news. I started a new FSWG series on my blog, on my website. Just visit www.franklyspeakingwithglory.com and you will find all my stories. Remember, I told you that I am also a very, very great writer. So I just started a new series and I call it The Muggles. So episode one is up already. Episode two will definitely be up soon so no that episode 2 is also there come on what are you saying 
Anyways, guys, please follow my blog stories. I have Burns, I have um, Lola's 12 Days of Xmas, I have Memoirs of Pisces, and the one that I started just last week. It's called The Moguls. Really, really great stories. Yeah? Alright, guys, so also, if you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Please just show some love. Come on, show some love, all right? All you have to do is just click on the red subscribe button that you can see down below and you will become a part of this great open-minded family. And that will be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and bye.